Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying out this Rosanna Pancino recipe. It is a woven stocking cookie, and I thought they were really cute. They're from her new cookbook, so I thought I would try them out. So the first step is to whisk the eggs. I already have them in the bowl. So I'm going to do that first. And I already have all my ingredients prepared here. Now I'm going to add the cream, heavy cream. And I'm going to add a peppermint extract. And now I'm going to whisk that until that is smooth. That should be good. So I'm going to set that aside and work on the flour mixture. So I'm going to add all of my ingredients. So I'm going to start with the, okay, the flour is already in the bowl. Then I'm going to add the cornstarch, salt, and sugar. There's a lot of sugar in here. And the last thing I need to add is my butter. There's a lot of butter here. And I'm just going to add that into my mixture. And I have a pretty big bowl because I've never used a hand mixer before. So I'm going to see how it is. And this is the first setting. It's like pretty like fast too. <laughs> So, I don't know if, if I'm going to make a mess. Um, my mom told me that I should put it on the bottom like this. And it I'm scared it's going to get everywhere. I think I should like stir some of it around. Get some of this butter off. Still stuck. This is a new one I got on Black Friday sale, so I thought it would be good to use. My mom likes to use a hand, uh, not a hand mixer, stand mixer though, which I think I like using too. <laughs> supposed to mix it until it's like a coarse meal texture. So, is that good? I think that's good. Now, I am supposed to add my egg mixture into the flour mixture. So, I'm going to add that in. Now I'm going to mix this on a low speed. I have to do this until my dough is forming. I'm just going to scrape off some of the sides so that I can go towards the middle. You can already see it's starting to stick a bit. Make a dough. So I have my dough ready to mix in the dyes. And my mom told me to add a little hole in the middle so that it doesn't drip down the sides. So I have red and green. I'm going to start with my red. I have uh, gloves on so that I don't dye my hands red. And I'm also going to change them. I think that's good for now. And then I'll add more if I need to. Now I'm just going to knead it in. This dough has a really interesting flavor. 
I didn't eat too much, so I'm not going to get salmonella poisoning. But it has like a peppermint flavor from a peppermint extract. So that's good. I'm going to need to probably add a lot more than that. Because I'm going to need a lot of red dye. Because it's supposed to look very bright, like on a photo. Well, I want it to look bright anyway. And not like pink. I got my red done. My mom did the rest for me because she said that red is a difficult color. So I'm starting on my green. And when I first started, I folded it towards myself, which wasn't a good idea. And I got it on the shirt. I don't want to touch a shirt. But that was not a great idea. I'm almost finished with my green. Braids, but now I'm being more careful and not squishing it too hard. But I also don't want to get it on anything else. And when I'm done kneading them, I need to wrap them in or plastic wrap and then put it in the fridge for a while. Then I can roll out my dough and start weaving it. I don't know if I should add more green or if I should add, if I should just keep kneading it. So now that I'm done mixing my dough, I put it in the saran wrap, and now I'm going to put it in the fridge. I'm going to put it in my little fridge. I have a big fridge over there, but right now we have a turkey in there. So I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to get a close fridge. I'm going to grab... here. So I let the dough sit in the fridge overnight and so now I have my red dough and my green dough. If I sound sick it's because I am but I wanted to film this video so that I can have a video for Christmas. Um, I also put my hair in braids so that I don't get it in the way. But I'm going to first roll out my red dough. I'm just going to put it here and I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. That should be good enough. And now I'm going to just roll it out. Also adding more on the other side. And I'll just roll it out. I don't want it to be too thin, but I don't want it to be too thick. Okay. I just want to make sure it doesn't crack. And then I can always use this to make sure that there will be enough room for the cookie cutter. And so I'm going to cut this one first and then I'll roll out my green dough. I'll set this aside. And I'm just cutting it in strips this way. That should be about good. And then I don't need too many strips. And then I'm just going to take the excess and put it to Put it to the side. That should be good. And now I'm going to roll out my green dough. I'm just setting some of the green to the side because I got a little too much. And like with the red dough, I'm just going to add flour to the side. And then this side should be good. So now I'm just going to roll it out. Now I'm gonna cut it in strips like the other one. Should I cut them this way? Okay. I'm gonna cut them this way now, the opposite way. Okay. 
Now I have my green strips. So going back to my red dough, I'm gonna set my roller and other and the flower aside. Now I'm gonna take every other dough piece and then I'm just gonna kinda fold it over. And then I'm gonna also fold this one over. And then I take a piece of my green dough carefully and I place it on top and then I fold the red dough back over and if it cracks a little that's okay because when you cook it it'll just come back together a bit and now I'm going to fold the other ones over the green dough and then I'm going to grab another piece of my green put it over and then fold it over the green like that and I don't know I think that'll be good because there's I don't really have much room for another one so now I'm just gonna cut it this way and I like to take all the excess dough I have off like here I have all red, but like over here, some of the green is going to get mixed with the red. So I kind of just mix that together and what I've been doing is kind of marbleizing it and making another cookie. But I try to get as much dough of each I can get. And I set that to the side. And... Now I can just take my cookie cutter off, and if it doesn't come off, it's not coming off easily, but okay, there. Now I'm going to take this and put it on my cookie tray. And I take my excess dough, and as you can see, it's kind of marbleizing up, but I don't mix it too much. And I like to put it on my thing and roll it out. It depends on how much I have. If I don't have too much, I'll just make little balls or make just circle cookies. But if I have enough, I like to make little stockings. So now I'm going to make the rest of my cookies and then I will show you how I decorate them. So I have my cookies here and they're done baking. These are a few that I have. These are also what they look like when they're marbleized. I really like these ones. They look cool. So I'm going to decorate my stocking ones. And I'm just taking some frosting so that I can make kind of like this white part. And then I'm going to put some of this um, white sugar sprinkles so that it looks better. So I'm just going to make like a little quick here. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to add my sprinkles. So that they stick to the frosting. So here are the cookies. And they were really fun to make. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Have a happy holidays and Merry Christmas.